Hello there everyone and welcome back to Do you know the last days of Europe as you probably know by now but we've done Shauna, we've done Goring and it's time for a certain Hans Spidel to begin with and we've got quite a few national spirits but let's begin with Ein Volk. The madness of Goring and Shauna has collapsed the house like a house of cards. Once again Germans are shooting other Germans. The failure of national daddyism in its current state is evident. Now it falls to Spidel to restore the Reich. There's some semblance of sanity. If that means reform, then so be it. Working with students, partisans, or even abandoning the arcades outright. The Reich will be reformed into something more reasonable. It doesn't have a choice. In which we get more weekly stability, weekly war support. We lose some attack, but we do get some more max entrenchment. But that doesn't matter too much. But uh, before we get too far, let's do the national spirits and get through some comments. We have the German Civil War. It is what it is. Officer assassinations, not very good. National Kriegs help organization, not bad. I don't like the consumer goods, but whatever. And the Volkskampf, not bad. I like that. More organization, recruitable population, uh, division recovery rate, war sport, defensive core territory. We're very defensive focused. But a couple of comments before we actually get things rolling too far. First of all, how do you go from Goring to Shorner? Or Goring to Shorner to Spada? Well, it's called saving the game. That's why I literally save in front of you guys sometimes. So I can reload saves later on or even, you know, to make things different and stuff like that. Um, I reload saves. And to do that, what you got to use is console command. So I've been using uh, TDE bugs, which tells you, if you didn't know, uh, what is the tag for each different type of nation here? Every nation has its own unique tag, so it tells you what you know, what nation you have. And then after, you, let's take that off. And then I just like then you type in tag and the the three letter uh, word you get. So for example, for Spidel, um, I, if I want to play Spidel, if I was playing as Ger Goring and we want to play Spidel, we'll do I'll type in consequence tag SGR. If you see Providence ID SGR, if I want to play as Burgundy. BRG, so it is what it is. That's how I do it every single time. That, that's just cons commands. That's why I don't play, use Iron Man. Because sometimes with these campaigns, things go like really poorly. So. Wait, what? Spiral surrenders. Hmm. Uh, there was a, some tension in war torn Germany while Speer's supporters and the populace of Germania both awaited news of whether or not Spiral would allow his entrance into the city. A collective sigh of relief answered, however, when it was announced that Spado and Rommel's men would not pr protest Speer's entrance in the city and give the soldiers guarding it their first stand-down order since the war had begun. Soon, Speer will ride to the Reichstag personally to, to announce his victory, and celebrations have already broken out across Germania as ch cheering crowds have mingled with the finally off-duty soldiers, lifting them on shores onto every pop and beer hall in the city. While the war hasn't spared Germania completely and supplies are scarce, it seems that the people have enough spare to truly celebrate the occasion. Um, Frankfurt. Uh, if you want to about this, please go right ahead. It feels like... The game thinks that we're still playing as Speer, because technically we are sort of, sort of, sort of like playing as Speer, but not really. Um, okay, well, whatever. But let's go on after Ein Volk, because the war is going to start very soon. Uh, promises of freedom. Yeah, the German people, as well as all the other people currently with, uh, with, within the Reich, wanted to see their chains broken and in a measure of freedom restored, then they have no choice but to stay with us. While uh, promises have to be vague at the moment, once we have triumphed off a show and goring, surely we will reform the Reich into something more pleasant than what, ha what it has been in the past. Well, they go to war with us, but as I, if you saw the last episode, you know, like, his troops are really not good. I've already boosted us up here, too. And we're going to need a lot more f Hello. Uh, you guys probably need those guys. We're going to need a lot more fuel. We're going to need... Oh, look at all those resources. Jesus Christ, that's so bad. We're going to need a lot of fuel. For now, let's grab whatever we can from you guys, because we have... Because actually, like, Spidel is in a pretty good position. So we have uh, 35 infantry divisions, which are 20 combat with. Pretty decent. I'd say I'd use those. I mean, obviously, I, I want to upgrade them, but that's not bad. The Marines are 20 combat with. The Gebergsjäger, the elite infantry, they have IFVs and their elites. And we have some Bergerwehr, which is not great, but... I'd rather have them than not have them. That's not too bad. And for our tanks, we've got two divisions of IFVs and with APCs. Not motorized, but APCs. We've got like six tank divisions. 18 combat with. Could be a little better. Could have another APC, but that's fine. And we literally have four divisions of 20 combat with helicopters. So actually, this is... I, I'm not really worried about taking out Shona here. So it should be going pretty well. I mean, oh, we don't have any resources to make anything. So it is what it is. As long as we get more resources, that's all that matters. That's really literally all that matters to me. All right, it's going to like super hard. Other comments. Um, so how do we get the Goring portraits? You know how the portrait I have on the thumbnail, like this episode, last episode, and the episode before that? Um, if you want to go to the game files, that's how I find all the portraits for all my game files. Spoiler alert, this is what I do pretty much for every single campaign, unless the portrait itself is not very good and it's very hard to use. Um, go to the GFX files in the game files. Get the portrait there. I go to remove background. I remove the background of it, and then just yeah, go from there. So basically, GFX, well... 
You gotta find the right mod first, because for Goring's Wild Ride, it's kind of hard to find it. Because there's so many different numbers in there for different types of mods and such. This is weird. I'm talking about, like, just whiteboard modding and stuff. Or just, like, the files. and not even talking about the, what we're doing right now, but whatever. Um, yeah. You go to the mod file locations, go to the GFX, go to the leaders, go to, like, the country, like... For example, you since this is SGR for us, you find the country SGR, you find the correct uh, DDS portrait, and then convert that to PNG. Usually, that's what I do. So, it usually works out pretty darn well. And we're lagging so hard, so it doesn't even matter. So, yeah, that's how you get the portrait. I don't think I can give you the portrait itself, but it, it's not too hard to find, but it's not super, super easy. So, it is what it is. Hey, another tank division destroyed. Thank you very much. Sure, guys, if you want to come into the war, oh, we'd appreciate it. Oh, we got him. Wait, Goring got him. Well, sh bad words. You son of a fat man. How dare you. That's not fair. We took out most of the stuff. Oh, I guess you have it here. Okay, well, whatever. Go on back. We'll, we'll get some more stuff from the All-Russian Congress. We're not going to take that much, but let's go with seven. There you go. So get some more stuff. Go back home for now. And we'll take Algoring hopefully soon. Promises of freedom. Rally the army. Well, a lot of the army so far is showing Algoring. Even the forces that have joined us are still somewhat reluctant to accept Spidel as a new leader. In this critical situation, we can't afford it. Let lingering distress impact our efforts to save the Reich. Let's remind them that Spidel is the savior of Germania during the First Civil War. Uh, and the vanquisher of Himmler's coup during the West Russian War. And now that he will save Germany once again. Unsere letzte Hoffnung heißt Spidel. And also someone said like, you know, usually when... Non-Germans try to speak German words, especially in like Hoi 4, it gets really bad. So I try my best. Yeah, I try my best. I'm not perfect. Promises of freedom. Oh. Yep, it is what it is. Rally the army. Followed up with... Rally the students. The students of the Reich have suffered much in the recent years. Between the First Civil War, Goring tracked down and being sent off to die in the various wars. Hence, their distrust of any Wehrmacht general, even one that actually wants to improve their situation, is natural. Spado have a lot of convincing to do to gain their support. However, if they want to see reform of the Reich within their lifetime, then they will have no choice but to support Spado. Um, who are we not getting stuff from? No, we're getting stuff from everybody. How can we go to war with Goring? I want to kill off Goring, man. So, Moscovine and Dalus Batanian, which we don't have a navy, so we'll probably just have to use consequence for those guys. I, I just want to go to war with these guys. It's on the work floor. I... Bro, I just want to kill you off. A united front. Six light infantry divisions will come up to us. Um, the Iberians... Is there anything else here? Because if not, I'm just going to use consequence. Our weekly map are increased by 2550. No one to fight. Cultures from overseas. The savior of Germany. And with to withdraw. Digging speed and partisan effect... Well, okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and do this. Rally the students, right? Did I read that one yet? Yeah. Um, the students of the Reich have suffered much in the recent years between the First Civil War, Goring's crackdown, and being sent off to die in the various wars, hence their distrust of any Wehrmacht general, even one that actually wants to improve their situation is natural. Spado will have a lot of convincing to do to gain their support. However, if they want to see reform of the Reich within their lifetime, then they will have to no choice but to support Spado and the United Front. It took a lot of talking, haggling, and pleading, but finally the students in the parts of the Wehrmacht that have sided with us have agreed to form a united front against our enemies. Its condition is still brittle, but with time and hopefully success, it'll form into a front of solid iron, allow the strength to do what it is, or what it must, save the Reich from its current self. Okay, so at this point, um, we don't have that much fuel. We're trying to get some more. I don't know how much we can actually import from other people, but we're going to use consequence. Eventually. I, you know what? We're doing it now. Let's do it. We're doing it now. Screw it. We're going to do it live. I, I know we probably need to wait, but I don't want to wait. I really don't. Uh, we don't need to debug. There we go. Cool. Let's see what happens. I, Spider's supposed to probably hang out, but I don't want to... Because we have a civil war. It doesn't make sense for us to have a civil war and not fight, right? Know when to fight? We know when to fight. We're fighting now, right? Let's go, boys. Let's go. And actually, we do have planes. Like, we legit do have some planes. Not a lot, but... I, I put some fighters on our tanks, at least. Let's go! I'll call it all of our allies in, too. Thank you. Anything else here? Logistics was it? Yes. Offensive? Yes. An offensive little Hans? Yes. Our little boy Hans. Let's not say... Mm, that's, that sounds kind of sus, man. Jesus Christ. Mm. Let's go! Down with a fat man. Because he took Shona's territory away from us. Oh, peace conference? With who? Klein Azin. Oh, Goring took them out. Oh, Goring's army's all the way down there, which makes sense, but okay. Munich, rally the students, my friends, the United Front. Bro, you missed München, please. München would be nice this time of year, thank you. 
Hello. Thank you. Come again. Call to the Partisans. While dealing with the various collaborators that have supported the Reich, Spado has inevitably gotten in contact with various groups that are willing to rise up as Partisans, but whom's ideological composition is not so far away as to be untenable. Directly helping potential enemies of the Reich might not be the clean choice, but given a hand to lend these let these partisan groups rise up in a current enemy's territory can prove very, very valuable. Ah, uh, you send your armies away and we shall take over everything you have, Goring. Goring falls. Goring's Germany is gone for good without him. His faction cannot stand as it did before. As time marches on, his generals naturally bicker with one another. Who who does what and who gets what, wherever they were. It seems that the absence of the fat man led to nothing but disorder. And disorder spread like disease all over the territories which they control. And just like the disease, their efforts were destructive one by one. The generals lost control of their holdings, though they tried their best to assert themselves once more. They couldn't realize that this was their own fault. For all of their might and equipment and men, nothing weakened them. So much more than corruption, their greed now left unchecked, led to the wasting away of the great war machines and the shattering of the ranks. Without such instruments, nothing can be taken back. And just like Goring, they meant nothing to the man who shattered his country. Germany once again was divided. And just like that, another faction is bit in the dust of the second civil war. What was once won once was now lost. We are lost again, and our path does not seem to end. Ah, uh, Turkey, all these people, Rexham, South Ukraine, uh, Britannian, Andalusian. Ah, these guys too. Oh, it kills these guys off. Oh, that sucks. It's alright. There you go. One massive all front. Uh, I think I want to take out the Ukrainians first. Sorry to my Ukrainian mod. I don't. I doubt he's watching that. Let's be real. Um, Ukraine, Helena, Klein, Azine. Ah, eh, we're gonna wait until they go to war with us, of course. Do we get cores or anything here? Probably not. We have a lot of manpower though. It's really nice. Oh yeah, let's go to get rid of officer assassinations. Let's go get a little bit of compliance, just a wee bit, please, just a tiny bit, a little taste of this. Oh no, I want to focus on these guys first. If you guys die, I'm actually not opposed to that. So, bye bye. Go in boards if you can. Let them rip if you possibly can. Please, please, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. I should be having... Mm, well, it, it worked out in the end, I guess, but still. Uh, guys, would you like to join them in the fight? I guess I got some pretty good forts around here. Yep, level 10 forts. We'll do it to you. It'll do it to you. What do we do, Call of the Parsons? Well, yes, yes. Very good, very good. Oh, look at these... Hmm. Not great, but they're all veterans, so... Welcome aboard. Hunger pains in the fatherland. I'm pretty sure this quite a few times, but it's not something we like to think about or even acknowledge, especially after so many German bellies stayed empty during the last war. But here we are. Germans all throughout the Reich are going hungry, and that's only in our heartland. Throughout all of our possessions, with few exceptions, our people are going hungry. Thousands upon thousands in the Reichskommissariats have already starved. Ah, that's okay. We're trying to do Lebensraum, right? And projections look grim for those stuck in those far-flung possessions at home. Seemingly dr draconian rationing procedures have been implemented to assuage the worst of our hunger pangs, but it may very well not be enough. If this war lasts as long as the last one, we may have a terrible crisis on our hands and millions could potentially perish. We've got a real crappy time on our hands. But oh well, it'll be what it'll be, I suppose. We're not doing great up here. Actually, we're doing a little better than I thought we would actually would. Guys, the goal is to encircle and envelop. There you go. That's how you're supposed to really do it. These guys are doing okay. Um, I want you guys to focus down here. Oh, actually, no. Just come around here. Like This will be good. If we get all the way down to here, that would be even muy bueno. Buenoer. Buenoer, yes. Buenoer is a word that I use on this channel, so... There you go. You, guys, 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 please, please. Y'all should be good enough. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, please. Kiefernwald, please. Um, You guys keep it over there. Uh, we'll go to war with these guys later on. And all this technology is what was set up by the, literally by the AI. Actually, unlike Goring and Shona, we... Okay, never mind. We actually we were doing technology, but I guess not anymore. Okay. Oh crap. <laughs> but that's weird because we actually have this. Like, if you see, yeah, we have it. So, I don't. I, this mod, it's special. It's just it's special. Hey, is Ukraine gone? Oh, I hope so. God of the partisans. <gasps> the Republic of Ukraine. Look at that. Ooh. Led by Maximilian Weber. This is on workhorse. Good job. Max. Good job, the Scandinavians. Scandinavia, especially the valuable mines of Lapland in northern Sweden, have seen large influxes of slave workers recently. With the territory being slowly popu or lowly populated, vast and scale and difficult to control it is a prime area for an uprising. A bit of help here and there can help this come to about quicker. So the emptiness of the region will prevent the uprising from spreading too far into our own areas of control. Yes, yes, yes. And now we're going to touch them in their butts. 
A strike from the southern portions should do okay. Wait, are we going to war with these guys too? Hopefully not yet. Should do okay-ish. Oh. Oh, crap. Yeah, don't let him go to war with us just yet. Um, what you want to do is do this. Just go over the river. Just casually hang out. Go, Guys, no. Go, go right here. And circle, please. And circle. We're not going to get involved in that war yet, Jess. Yes, yet. You're, you're insane if you think we are. Alright, so tanks, you're not as fast as the mother groups, but it'll be what it'll be. Go all the way up to the border with them other Russian folks. Oh, Brasher Shot would be nice to have, too. Nice, good job, guys, good job. Uh, anything else here? No, we're doing pretty okay. Spado's actually really set up to do really totally okay. But the other guys, not so much, man, not so much. Moscow's ours, thank you. What else do we need from these guys? Where's the capital? Oh, man, if you could just cut these guys off, just snip, snip. You know, just snip, snip them. Nice. Uh, the Slavs. The Shona-controlled areas include many of the former and current Slavic inhabited lands. Having them rise up in an attempt to liberate their lands is not only likely to happen with or without our help it, if we give them a bit of support here and there, but they will likely draw away a significant amount of hostile forces away from our current areas of engagement. And no matter who wins, we can just deal with them afterwards. Yes. yes. Oh, they died. Ah, <sighs> beautiful. Seriously, where where is the capital? I'm um, sorry, guys, not yet. Once these guys are done, then we'll deal with them. Okay, so these guys are about to die. They're close. But seriously, where, where the heck is the capital? Valdemir? Oh, are they gone now? Please tell me they're gone. Ah, oh, we've done it, my friends. Wow, Ukraine, you're getting kind of thick there. Thick in all the right places. I want y'all to go here. And we're going to be striking kind of hard. Because if we're not doing it hard, then we don't like it. Bro, can you stop going to war with more people? Ukraine. Bro, relax. Relax, man. Or whoever is leading Ukraine. Relax. Or when I first did this, I didn't realize that I, like, it looked like I deleted the divisions or the armies. But not really. Hello. Drake's doing relatively okay as well. So, Well, can we go in? I want to have a good time with them, please. Yes. The Slavs and the Iberians, ever since Iberia fell to our invasion, the peninsula has become a mass of partisans and garrisons fighting it out. With the Civil War, this situation only intensified. With the number and variety of resistance organizations very large, it's easy to simply support a few of those to rise up in pro Shona and pro Goran controlled areas, but not in ours. Yeah, guys, you're gonna need this, so don't, don't even bother me about it. We'll go to World Scandinavia soon enough. It's fine. You guys should do relatively okay. Nah, no, we're okay for now. Hey, look, an encirclement! Could be better. We are. We did encircle some of the tanks. That's nice. That's actually very nice. Why don't you guys get down here? Cut these guys off. Go straight to Odessa after that too. Guys, please, Let's go in. Son, where are you going? I love how you're moving so fast. Nice. There you go. Good. Oh, we're fighting these guys too. That sucks. There you go. Nice. Sorry, guys. I'm not... Just, just guys, please. Just, just go in just a little bit. Not too much. Just a Oh, my gosh. That beer looks so bad. It's all right, though. How many minutes have we lost? 8,000? That's really good, actually. Compared to everything else, that's actually really good. But uh, all for a prosperous, prosperous Europe. With various partisan uprisings as well as their own war effort underway, a glorious future for Europe might not be within reach. Spado's Germany and his vision is clear. All of Europe shall become prosperous once more under leadership, the leadership of the Unity Pact. Other comments just says, revive Albert Spado's dream with Spado here. Yeah, well, that's what we're trying to do, man. That's where exactly what we're trying to do right now. Guys, good, just kill him off. Well, there goes Basque Republic. What are y'all doing over here? How are these? How literally? How I know it's over a river, but how are they holding out with literally no organization? Now are they dead? Oh, nope, that's another group dead. It's fine with us. Whatever. Any upgrades, sir? No. Okay. Winter expert. Sure, you can have that. It's August, but here, become a winter expert. Yay! They're gone. Yay! Alrighty. Let's focus on this group next. Take him out. That'd be very, very good. 
Even though I do know that, uh, yeah, these guys are not doing so well up there, too. It's fine, whatever. It is whatever. It is what it is. Come to Athens, baby boys and girls. Well, let's do a good job, shall we? Oh, so we're not even training any other divisions yet, which is kind of probably a mistake, but whatever. Infantry divisions, there you go. Nice. More millies? Cool. Wow, we got a lot of APCs. Look at that. Let's get some more. Let's actually get some planes. This will definitely help us out. All right. Well, we got a lot of attack planes. I like that. Two. Four hundred. All right. Not bad. And there you go. That should be enough for you guys. Do we have any fighters, though? Yeah, we got a few. That's not bad. Let's get 100 for each group at the very minimum, so that'll be good. There you go. Do what you can with what we have there. Go in. Go in immediately. Because you guys are already engaging the enemy. There's so many enemies here, too, though, so. Turkey will not. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Scandinavia. You bunch of piece of garbage. But if you want to about to withdraw, please go ahead, as well as evacuate the troops, as well as native rule. Eh, it is what it is, but no one to fight. The war is not yet over. We may have been pushed back and delayed temporarily, but we'll fight on from one of the Rex Commissariats so well to us. And there are enough of those around that we can repeat the process time and time again. Still, we will fight to the last for the vision that Hans Spotter represents. A Reich of reason and not of madness that can help hold up to all challenges. Go in, boys. Actually, do this one. That's there you go. You know what? Screw it. I don't want military divisions. I'm sorry, but like, Turkey, you're overpowered right now. You kind of a little, a little over, overpowered. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Where are my planes? I need to come over here. Actually, oh, actually, you guys are gonna die. We, oh, we potentially. Oh, well, let's get up, get up here. You're not gonna win against us, son. Istanbul first. Get, get over here. There you go. You've got to take the port. Force defense. There you go. You should easily be able to win against these guys. There you go. I don't know why it was so difficult against us, you know. Hello. Well, well they capitulated to those guys, which is actually... I'm kind of okay with that, actually. Um, do that, too. There you go. That actually might be better for us overall, but we'll see. Whee! There you go. Gotta love that VP rush, man. Oh, we got this one done too. Cool. Call troops from overseas. The fight for the heart of the Reich is the most important front in this whole conflict, but where it's vital is also important. We should recall troops from overseas into those areas less relevant to our cause and concentrate on securing our central area of operations. Cool. How was... How are these people not dead yet? Seriously. Give me you and just go right here. I guess they technically they are dead already. Okay, that makes sense then. If it looks like this, you should probably be able to do that. We're going to go to Scandinavia next. Is Gotland with us? No. We're going to kill Gotland. Because we have no board over here, too, so we got to wait just a little bit. Go. Uh, Kazakhstan, whatever. You should easily be able to win against a single god dang division. Are you kidding me? Easy, easy, easy wins. It's easy. Come on, man. I will force the attack and kill every last one of our soldiers off if we have to. The savior of Germany, though. He is the savior of the West Russian War, the protector of Germania, our last hope to change in the Reich. He is Hans Spado. His popularity has to be emphasized and used if we want to have a chance of fighting in this war. Let's use all available means for a morale boosting campaign. All hell Spado's saving regenerator of the Reich. I said. I told them, you know, you could you could defy us, and they did, and they died. I, I'm not sure what you want me to say. Yep, 
At this point, I don't care. We're going to be fighting these guys too, but whatever. Um, kill off Gauntlet. A bunch of traitors to us. Oh, there. Actually, we already are at war with them. Nice. Good job, guys. Wait, I thought the Scandinavia was at war with us. Oh, they're a puppet of us. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, can you guys go in, please? That'd be great. I would greatly appreciate that right now. Guys, just... Why are you circling around? Just go in. There's no one there. Oh, just go in now. There you go. That's how it's done. You're gonna be a lot of resistance up here, man. Guys. Force the attack, either win or die. There's no if and or buts. Because they're surrounded. They're running out of supplies, too. No joke. No joking around here, man. Go straight in. Uh, we're not messing around. I'm sick of these, these guys just messing around, messing around, not doing with it, what I tell them to do, man. Seriously, how are they? Th this is not even core territory. And we're not even really winning by that much. So dumb. Alright, let's grab some of this. There we go. More defensive breakthrough. We get. Of course, we don't have all these upgraded bonuses that we really should have, but whatever. Alright, so how many men have we lost? A thousand? Not bad. Not bad. Gotten land. Yeah, we'll, we'll directly just annex them when we're done. Eh, maybe before we're done here. Let's see. Let's take a look. Because I'm not. There's literally no way that we can take these guys out, so we're just going to go annex BRI. Hopefully, we just liberate them or something, but I'm not going to deal with that. Good. We'll do well here, we'll do there. Rock swim aside down Volga. Not bad. Oh, more stuff here. Good. Yeah, I get some convoys. We're actually building a navy, sort of. We got more resources, which is nice. Peace conference, Gotland. Ah, yeah, Scotland is gone. Germany's looking nice and thick. The way we like our Germans. If the Germans aren't thick, we don't want them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Excuse me, guys. Could you keep, please keep on going? You've not fulfilled your objective orders yet. Baku would be nice this time of year. Katharina Stadt? <sighs> the speedy boys. Oh! Hello! Oh, Kingdom! The Kingdom is back! Josias, you look like you're in pain. He probably is, at least emotionally. Like a, like us, right? Shimmy's the Reich. Nice. Very nice. So who else are we fighting? Morocco and Libya. Very weird, but okay. Mm, I don't. I. I I'll, I'll be honest. I don't want to fight down there. There's no way we can get, even get into there. So what's the point? All right. So is that the end of the war? Ubergangs Regierung Balkan Halbinsel. That actually might be the end of the war, maybe. Uh, I guess technically because they use cons commands, we don't get an end of the war. I think that's all technically that we have for him, though, because there's they're not much here. I would love to see a sub mod someday for like every single like potential civil war you can have uh, with these guys, like whether it's Hadrish, Goring, maybe even Borman, and the other guy, Spare. Oh God, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. But I think that's going to be it. Um, I apologize. I use cons commands for all this stuff. But actually, you know what? I will do it one more time. Let's do... Uh, Italy can't be that strong, right? Just kidding, right? Just kidding, right? Yeah, let's do Italy. Our boys are getting on the line. Let's see what happens. Anyone's upgrades, actually? Oh, we're out of manpower. Oh, we're demobilizing. Well, that's not good. There you go. Our guys are still getting over here. There we go. Keep boosting it, but up. That's totally fine. Um, turning off the training wheels. Enable mad. Well, yeah, we'll see about that. Now, what happens if we go to war with these guys? Do they attack us? Do we not attack them? Can you guys just do a general attack, maybe? A lot of red. That's definitely a lot of red. You gotta come in now. You, We're not gonna wait. There we go. 
And you're going to force the attack. There is no waiting here. Oh, they do attack us over here, too. Uh, yeah, we must be losing lots of guys. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that's a bit BS. Like... Yeah, no. Give it up, though. I, at this point, I just want to see what would have happened. You're, you, you're in through here? Let's go. Let's go. Let's bring it. There you go. Yeah, if the infantry die, I mean, they're infantry. What do you expect? They left themselves completely open because they chose so. There we go. These guys have got to be massive divisions. No, they're only eight combo with Max? How are they holding out against us? I guess it's defense on core territory, but Jesus Christ. Holy crap. How can we not win? Oh, man, this is so bugged. It's got to be bugged, man. I'll be honest. This has got to be bugged 100%. Alright, Nachi. Let's see. This one, no. Yeah, there's definitely some... Or, you know, our, our actually, our technology is really crap, too. Don't want to forget about that. Defcon 5. Output, no. Nothing here that we can see so far that gives them any sort of advantage against us. Except for Last Stand. And maybe some encryption and decryption, because that does help in combat, too. And even more of that stuff, too. So, whatever. Game wants to cheat against us, so be it. Look, if the game wants to cheat, I'm okay with cheating, then. So, go into. At this point, it doesn't matter. Get the planes in the air. Oh, no wonder we're not winning. We don't have a lot of planes. Hmm, I don't think we have that many fighters, anyways. Got a lot more attack helicopters, which is pretty nice. Oh, we don't have enough manpower for that, huh? There you go. God dang it, come on. You know, I that's something I would like to see changed. Okay, just because you don't have manpower doesn't mean we can't deploy them. Like, I would like to see that changed. Like, we get manpower eventually. Right here. Oh, there's actually someone there, huh? Yeah, this is dumb. Why would we lose all of our technology? That makes literally no sense to me. So, if the game wants to cheat, we're going to cheat too. We're going to go... We're going to rack up some serious casualties here. So, yeah, I mean, removing all of our tech means I don't understand. Like, the devs obviously just, like, forgot about it or something. So, we're going to lose all of our divisions probably, but whatever. I mean, look at that. Look how bad that is. So, you know what? We're just going to use commands then. Screw Italy. And screw the... I mean, the devs obviously didn't care about finishing this stuff up. Because why would we lose all of our tech? It's 75, for God's sakes. It's Civil War, I get it. But, like, it's one thing we lose all your technology, but we can still sort of make it. But we don't get the buffs. Anyways, whatever. I think I've exhausted this. Um, so that is will be the end of the goring side of uh, this campaign. Obviously, I don't care about tech or root factors anymore. There's, there's just a lot of things that have to be cleaned up that I'm just not interested in for spot this this whole civil war thing but that's pretty much it for it but after this one i've got an idea about a certain nation we can check out that might be the americas that we can have a good old fun time with um that i don't think a lot of people have covered on youtube but hey if you enjoyed the video regardless leave a like if you're still watching thank you subscribe if you're new check out my discord link in the description below and i'll see you tomorrow in what will be technically a different campaign thanks for watching have a great great rest of your day